Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today is a uh, Wednesday. It's about eight eight thirty, and um, so we're we're here at a BLM campground uh, right outside of Canyonlands. Um, it's the second BLM campground outside of Canyonlands. It's actually a pretty good spot, um, but it's a uh, today we're gonna head down to uh, to its capital reef. We're gonna go check out Cathedral Valley, and then from there, Capitol Reef, uh, and then Bryce Canyon. Probably not gonna happen all today. Uh, Bryce Canyon might be tomorrow. But, um, yep, so we're packing up right now. Uh, we we'll just cook breakfast. Um, Yash is eating cereal after a little bit of eggs. Um, last night it got really cold. Got probably down to like 39, 40. Um, I had a little buddy heater. Um, threw that in the tent for a while. The um, well, it also rained last night too. First first time here actually rained, um, just for an hour. It was, it was a good enough drizzle. I wish it was a little bit more so the truck could get a little washed, but it's it's to a point where the truck's now just more muddy. It's not really washed. So yep, just gonna start packing up, take off. Call him. Ah! Cow cow. Cow cow. What are you gonna name that cow? This cow is just walking on the side of the highway here. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, here we are. Temple of the Sun, right here. And Temple of the Moon is right there behind me. We're gonna go check that out next. But check this out. Yes, and what do you do here? Um you just look at it. You just look at it. Yeah. That's all you do. Yep. Yeah. You don't. You don't climb the whole top. You don't. No. Okay. If you climb the whole top, you gotta fall down. Okay. Good advice. Yeah. Huh? Is it a dinosaur bone? Yeah. Let me see. I don't think it's a dinosaur bone, Yeshi. Yeah, I didn't know what it is. It too. It's a bone. Some other thing's bone. Oh. Let it go. Okay. Leave it. Wow! <laughs> um, it's called the Temple of the Sun because certain times of the year, well most of the time of the year, if you actually make it here right at sunrise, there's an orange glow on this part of the wall, or the section of it. And it just literally glows up. Um, and this is from the reflection itself, of course. But that's what you come here to see at certain parts of the year. Yes? My hat Oh, okay. Temple of the Moon. Slightly smaller and less exciting than Temple of the Sun. Same thing. Let's go, keep going. How about you go that way and I go this way? Just go this way. So this is Glass Mountain. Temple of the Sun, Temple of the Moon, and Glass Mountain. All within walking distance of each other. So there it is. What is that? A nice piece of solid gypsum. 
glass. What is it? It's glass. So, there's an opposite of this, about another 10 miles down the road. It's actually a sinkhole where the um, eroding gypsum has actually given way. And it's almost a 200 feet hole now. So they call it, they say that it's the opposite effect of this. This one is rising and the other one is dropping. Nature is amazing, I tell you. They're completely black. They look like volcanic rocks, but there's no volcanoes around here. So I'm just going to go with the story that they came from outer space. That's not a volcano rock, okay? It's not? No, it just came from there, far down there. Is that your story? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to say it came from outer space and you say it came from there. It didn't came out of space, it just came there. Okay. So when I was entering Capitol Reef National Park, or at least the boundary, which is a gate not too far away from here, there was a sign that said, um, no drones. Which is a shame, because I really wanted to fly my drone around here. But what I'll do, I'm gonna go outside the gate, and I'm just gonna take my drone straight up. Not in the park, but straight up. So, technically, I'm not breaking the law. Capital Reef. Um, it's literally a small body of water carving the canyon all the way around this point. It's crazy to think that a little bit of water can do so much damage or dig a big hole <laughs> that deep. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Where to now, mister? Hey! <laughs> Where to now? Grand Staircase uh, National Park, actually State Park, uh, National Monum Monument actually. And um, we're actually on a, uh, I want to say we're like on an island, sort of, because we got uh, valleys all the way around us. Sun's just about to set. Check out that view. absolutely amazing driving Highway 12. 
going from Capitol Reef going down Highway 12 all the way to Bryce Canyon. It's a one of the, probably one of the beautiful drives I've ever done, one of the prettiest drives I've ever done. Um, you're going over Dixie National Forest at 9,600 feet, and then you end up here. This is a beautiful road, and the, the best thing is there's no one else here. I don't know, maybe it's too late in the day, but I'm the only one driving this route right now. I have not seen a car in over over an hour, maybe. Almost feel like I'm going to get to the end of the road and it's going to say road closed. And it closed behind me after I entered it. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, come on, look at this. It's beautiful out here. Too bad I can't camp out here. No camping here. Plus at uh, 8,000 feet, I don't think I want to camp here. It's going to drop to 30s, low 30s here tonight. Alright, I'm going to hit the road, keep going. We got another maybe 30 minutes. Um, we're headed to Escalante. Escalante? Escalante, yeah. And uh, there's a campsite that uh, I reserved over there. Um, so we'll go there. We just need some showers and get some clothes situated, situation situated. Um, but yep, tomorrow it's a... Uh, and that, that campsite actually puts us just an hour from Bryce Canyon. And tomorrow we're going into Bryce Canyon and um, Zion, yep. And tomorrow is our last day out here exploring. Friday morning we go back home, either or tomorrow evening, whichever one works with our schedule. Look at that sunset, it's just, it's just going down. It's like the perfect time to be out here right now. This morning we uh, just left Escalante, and that's where we stayed the night. And um, yeah, we, we got up, got breakfast uh, at a local um, diner. Uh, I think we left there around uh, 9.30, 10 o'clock by the time we actually got out of the town. Um, we headed to uh, Bryce Canyon today. And um, maybe even see how the day goes, we want to end up in Zion later in the day. Um, so right now we're just crossing the, um, the Blues Wilderness Area. It's uh, right outside of the Grand Staircase uh, before we cross into Bryce. So we're, very, we're pretty close to Bryce, maybe another 20-30 minutes we'll be in Bryce. Um, but you can already see the landscapes change a lot. Um, it's actually no longer the red Utah terrain. It's, there's more trees here. It's, it's, um, it's more, more forestry, I guess. Uh, but I, I hear that when you get into Zion, it completely changes, so I guess we'll find out. But, um, well, here's some footage from the uh, Blues uh, Wilderness Area.
got into uh, Bryce Canyon uh, National Park at about 11 a.m. And um, this place is actually pretty crowded. Uh, there's a lot of people here, a lot of cars. And the very end of Bryce Canyon is actually closed because um, there's still snow on the ground. There's a lot of snow on the ground. So we probably won't be spending as much time as I thought here. Half mile hike up to Mossy Cave. Um, it's not too far from the main road, but um, check out those snow golems. Still standing. Yeah. I know. And by late fall, it, it kind of dries up, but by late fall, it comes back again. Sheltered from the sun, even on warm days, growing warmer and warmer. These icicles sometimes last until late June. But when the sun comes up, that could be me. Well, I don't think the sun can ever get in there. No. No. <laughs> we were we were at Zion yesterday. Hope you can hear me, but uh, we're at uh, Mossy Falls, so right next to Mossy Caves. It's another short hike under the bridge to get here. But look at this, this is beautiful. Most likely it's snow melt, that's what it is. I don't think it connects to a river or anything. So we just left uh, Bryce Canyon. It's about 2.45 right now and we're headed up down to uh, Zion and uh, Zion I wish Highway uh, Route 9 was open because that'll be so much quicker but we gotta go up over 14 uh, through our forest again, National Forest and that's gonna take a little bit longer, maybe 30 minutes longer but that's the only way we can take um, right now but yep, yeah, next stop is Zion
So this was the last of our national parks, Zion, and uh, this week in uh, seven days we've done five national parks and Moab. Um, we've really had fun. We've camped, stayed at a motel one night when it was a little cold and windy. Um, but um, at this point, um, this was a this was a great trip. I don't know when I'm going to do this trip again or something like this. Um, but this was challenging with a four-year-old. It's very challenging. Um, you got to find ways to keep a four-year-old entertained. So, luckily there's a lot on the way on the road to do. There's a lot to see and uh, this guy gets entertained very easily. Um, but I think at this point we're both homesick uh, or getting homesick. We just want to be home now. Um, he misses his mom already. Um, this was really a, a fun adventure for us. Everything on the truck was great. Nothing broke down. Um, everything functioned the way it's supposed to. Um, yep, so we have a almost 11-12 hour drive home right now. And I think I'm just gonna start doing that. And uh, it's the evening now at Zion and I'm, we'll just probably be home by morning. Um, what's going on here? There we go. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna start the drive. Um, and we'll be home in the morning. So, hopefully you've enjoyed the series. Um, I'm not really sure how many episodes I've put together. At this point, I just have data that I need to consolidate and figure out how to break this all down, but by this time you've, you're seeing the last video anyway. Um, Alright, so till next time. And remember, get your kids out, get your family out, get your neighbors out, get your dogs out, visit the national parks. It's just beautiful, it's amazing, there's a reason why they're protected. Um, just get out there and just go do something. Go on a hike go camping with your kids just do something just don't stay home please do something it's time to say bye 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 over here they're over here bye bye <laughs> all right bye